Hey there and welcome back. So today I've done something completely self-indulgent and I've purchased a mystery dress box from Fame and Partners and I thought what's the point of ordering a mystery box without sharing it with all of you here on the internet. Just to give you a little bit more information about Fame and Partners, they're a sustainable clothing brand that manufactures their clothing made to order. So that means they don't produce as many CO2 emissions, they don't have to deal with the excess of storing stock and because of that they offer some customizations on the dresses they offer on their website. For example, if you don't like the height, if you want to change the fabric, etc, etc. They also have an almost zero waste manufacturing process. And as I'm trying to educate myself more about sustainability, that really intrigued me. This isn't the first time I've heard of Fame and Partners. I've actually been coveting their dresses ever since I've seen Jean Wang's maternity shoot from the blog Extra Petite. I think she looks so gorgeous in it and I've never pulled the trigger on their dresses myself because they were actually quite expensive. They range from $200 to $300 depending on the customizations that you do and the cheapest dress I found on their website was in the high hundreds. So this box is valued at $1,250 and I actually paid $150 for it. So I thought it was a great way to get over my initial reservations about not getting a dress from them because now I get five for $150. The catch is, is that I have no idea what's inside this box. So hopefully they're not just trying to get rid of stuff and they actually put some popular dresses in here. I could hate everything and <laughs> that would be so sad, but hopefully there's a couple of winners in here and I just thought, why not share my reaction with you guys? Let's get to opening this box. We're doing this live. The first thing I see is floral pattern in pink. And I don't know, oh, I don't know how I feel about this actually. <laughs> this looks like a kind of like grandma couch situation, but well, okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. No judgment until it's opened. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, okay, I was like freaking out a little bit. Oh, it's not so bad. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like it's a floor length ruffled gown, but like this is actually pretty cute. I wouldn't necessarily like buy it for myself because the pattern is very grandma tea house themed, but actually I am a grandma. <laughs> So maybe I would have purchased it for myself. That's good. I'm not, I'm not sad, I'm not sad. So this is the first dress that came out of the Fame and Partners mystery box. I have to say it does look a lot better on than it does in the box, just kind of hanging out. It has a pretty distinct bust line here with a low V. It has a little sash that you can tie on as well. And a detail that I always, always appreciate is the adjustable spaghetti strap. So if you have a larger bust than myself or need a little bit more room, you can have a little bit more leeway to let things out or tighten things back up. I currently have this on the tightest setting and for their size zero, this dress fits, fits me pretty well. I can imagine this being actually one of the more casual dresses that came in the mystery box. This is definitely more of like a sundress um, that's a little bit more, I would say, on like the tea party side of things versus like the picnic in the park side of things, but it still looks pretty nice, I think. The second thing is this. It comes in this bag. Oh, I think that's because the fabric is a little delicate, so they packaged it in there. Oh, it's like a cute little swingy dress top with like a pleated b bodice. B -b -b bodice. I think this looks really nice. This kind of reminds me of like a um, bridesmaid type dress. I'm glad that they put in that extra package to make sure that it didn't get like snagged on the way over here. I think because it was in that package, it it must be like a fancier type dress, whereas this one was just in that plastic, so maybe it's like one of their casual day dresses that they popped in here. Okay, okay, two, two out of five. So this is the secondary dress. It is another floor length dress, and I consider it to be very bridesmaidsy. Originally, when I was planning my wedding, I was actually going to have my bridesmaids purchase dresses from Fame and Partners, but they were a little bit on the pricier side, and I felt bad being like, hey, if you're in my bridal party, please buy this $200 to $300 dress. So instead, I went with a cheaper alternative, but I really like this dress. There's a lot of like nice pleating detail at the top. Of course, these straps I have to tighten up, but they also are adjustable at the back here. And there's a side zipper closure with a hook and eye to help you get it on. One of the things I will say is that I basically fit in the petite size chart 
like size zero of their site, except for my rib cage. My rib cage is actually like an inch larger than what they have on their site. And I can like really feel it in this dress here, just because it's, there's a side closure as well. But I can imagine if I eat like a bunch of pizza or had like a more filling meal, this dress would be kind of tight on me. But for now it fits and it looks, I would say pretty okay. Again, I'm not sure if I could wear this to a wedding because I feel like it's one of the dresses that you're like, are you in the bridal party? And you're like, no, I'm just a guest. But let me know what you guys think as well. Ho -ho. Honestly, when I was ordering the Fame and Partners mystery box, I thought they would put their ugliest dresses in here because they just need to get rid of them. But I'm like quite pleased with these two. I'll see if I'm still pleased with them on, but let's continue opening. We have three more dresses left. And one thing that I want to mention is that they are non-refundable and non-returnable. So whatever you get is what you get. Ooh. I like lace. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is like very sexy. <laughs> I'm also a nun, by the way. This is like, I almost thought this was like a romper, but it's like a very sexy backless dress. I ordered this in the petite sizing in the size zero, which is good because I feel like in the standard lengths, I would have five feet of material, five additional feet of material on the bottom. But um, we'll see how this actually fits on my bod. This looks like, I don't know. I might have to take this to the tailor. I had to put up my hair for this one, but this is the black lace dress and it's definitely probably one of the sexier dresses I own now just because bam, it's, it's very open at the back and it's like, it's very, I don't know. I just feel very exposed in it even though it's a floor length gown. One of the things that sticks out to me about this dress, whereas the other two dresses were quite like fitted around the bodice is that I probably have to put cups in this because it's a little, I don't have the breasticles to really fill it out. But otherwise it is a very nice dress. And if you ever need to like do up a little bit for a fancier evening, like this is, quite nice, I would say. I love lace dresses as well, so this is like right up my alley. Um, and it has like this sexy little slit at the bottom so you won't be waddling around in like a tube dress. It has a zip at the back here to help fasten everything closed. You just pop the top on and you're ready to rock and roll for the night. Three out of, three out of five is not bad. Like, I'm relatively Im impressed with the mystery box so far. I, the one complaint that I do have is that there's no variation in the dresses. Like they're all like floor length gowns. I thought there would be a couple of like T length dresses in here or like something sexier. Um, ooh, a red, a red dress. Maybe, maybe this is the sexy thing that I was kind of hoping for. What's going on? Okay, okay, it's a floor length dress. It's another floor length dress, but it's kind of like a crisscross top at the top. And it has like a, a big leg slit. Okay. Okay. This one, I'm sort of like, okay. <laughs> like, again, another floor length dress, but maybe I didn't read the mystery box correctly. Maybe it was just like, just gowns. Um, Fame and Partners actually has a wide selection of like styles and dresses on their website. Um, I just wanted to see like a little bit more variation here. So this is the red dress. Out of the bag, I didn't really know what the bodice would look like, but I think it looks quite nice. It's quite architectural and I wouldn't have picked something like this for myself off the rack. And I like the color red. I think red just generally looks good on me and my skin tone as like this little slit here so you can have an Angelina Jolie moment if you want, or you can can can. But otherwise, I think this was like a pretty sleeper hit, I guess. Out of all the dresses, I thought I would enjoy like the black lace one the most, but because of the additional alterations and things that I have to do, um, that comes in second place to this guy, which right off the rack or right out of the bag fits quite well. Like the other dresses, this could benefit from having some cuppage in the 
chest area, just like naturally built in for a little support and to fill out the places that I lack. Otherwise, I think this is like quite a fun dress and I can wear it out quite easily. Like, I guess like what I wanted was like different lengths of dress. All of them seem to be like ball gown length so far. Or not ball gown length, but floor length. Okay, okay, so this is in a different bag. Everything else has come in these like little envelope casings and this one is in this little like almost like a shoe dust bag or a purse dust bag and let's see a little later <laughs> Come on, I can't open this bag two hours later so this is the last dress in the mysterious shoe bag that I can't get untied for the life of me oh I have to do the other side okay so one eternity later so this is the final dress in the mysterious shoe bag it's cream it's white it's it's short it is short it is a romper it's backless it's just a short dress it's a short roughly dress i mean it's not bad it's like very simple all the dresses i think are cut from the same cloth obviously they're manufactured by the same brand but like the the four that are floor length all have like almost the same silhouette and this is like the only other dress that's d different like truly different now i won't have to worry about what i'm gonna wear to weddings for another like long time except for this one obviously don't wear white to a wedding that would be a major faux pas so this was the only non-floor length dress included in the whole package and it's also the last dress to come out of the box it's my least favorite i think again the same problem that i've had with all the other dresses i don't have the breasticles to really fill this dress out this one definitely needs to be altered it's still kind of tight at my waist area that's the part where it fits like really well but to avoid being too scandalo you can see how ill-fitting it is so I definitely need to have this taken in somehow. And I don't know, I just like, I'm not super in love with the dress pattern. Like these little ruffles here, there's like nothing really going on here, but it's like super tight here, also super short here, and yet super loose here. I, I don't really know what's going on with this dress and I don't really like it, but I kind of expected some duds and I feel like this was one of them. I think like I, this could be wearable if it's altered, but I need to do something about these like Mickey Mouse, like suspender, loose dress type fitting, whatever is going on up here. So after trying all those dresses, I have to say the Fame and Partners mystery box is quite good value for the money. Even my husband was like, I'm surprised the dresses looked as good as they did and they were as like, nice feeling as they were in terms of quality. I think I got really lucky with the curation of the box. If I had gotten five dresses that I absolutely hated and basically would give away to friends immediately, obviously I would not spend the money again. But even looking at their website, I see dresses that I really love contrasted with other pieces that may not be for me, but would look really good on other people. There are $350 boxes available on the Fame and Partners outlet site differentiated by height. So there's tall, regular, and petite. I chose petite, which ranges in height from four feet, 10 inches to five feet and four inches. I also consulted the size guide on the Fame and Partners website to make sure that I was ordering the correct size. Now I am a Australia, UK size four, a US, size zero. One thing that I noticed, even though my bust, waist, and hip fell within the parameters of the Fame and Partner size zero, my underbust was one inch over, and I had to wrestle with the idea of ordering up to a size two, having only one of my measurements fit and all the other ones be too big, or the alternative of ordering my correct size with one measurement, my underbust being one inch over. Now, most of the dresses, it didn't really matter that the underbust was a bit too small for me, but I would say it depends on the style. My favorite dress out of the five was definitely the red dress. I think that was like a sleeper hit. I would never pick that neckline for myself, but I think it looked pretty good. And my least favorite dress was the white mess that was that dress. 
I fully expected not to 100% like everything that was in the box, but I was pleasantly surprised with the dresses that came out of the selection there. I think the utility of the dresses are somewhat limited because four of them are floor length gowns and maxi dresses, depending on the fabric, can be worn casually, but definitely the four that they sent to me lean towards the more formal side of things. And given that we're all gonna be inside for a long time, all the weddings are postponed, etc., etc., I don't know if I will have to wear these to Trader Joe's to get use out of them or not. And I think I took the word mystery gown box a little bit too loosely in the fact that because Fame & Partners have different styles of casual dresses, sundresses, wedding guest dresses, cocktail dresses, it would be more of a mix of all those things. With these dresses here, I would say three are definitely in the fancy-ish category. One can pass as a maxi sundress and that teacup length white dress we won't even talk about. I tried to match the styles that came in this mystery box with any existing styles on their website and their outlet site, but I think these are old styles that are already matriculating through the mystery box that they're not advertising on their site anymore. So all of these you can no longer buy. This was a fun exercise and I'm pleased with the dresses I got. They require minimal alterations and they look nice. So I would say it's worth it, but you know, fully be prepared to throw $150 down the drain if you're like, I hate everything in this box. Ugh. So it's $150 to get some nicest dresses on sale, to learn a bit about a brand, and to be entertained. But I hope this was helpful. Let me know what dress was your favorite in the comments down below. And let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help out. I'll see you in the next one. To order. Pizza! Pizza is here. Pizza!